Welcome back, Hookaholics, to another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Um, it's June the 1st, uh, 2020, and today, in the mail, I've got my June Rush Tackle Box. So, my RTB came, and uh, I figured, in these times, it would be nice to have a little something peaceful uh, to talk about. So, uh, let's tear into my June uh, issue of RTB. I'm, I gotta say, right off the bat, I'm very pleased with RTB, uh, Rush Tackle Box. Now, they are not the big, huge, mega monster of subscription uh, tackle boxes. Um, you know, they only uh, supply a few baits in each box. They don't do like eight or ten or whatever. They have a standard set. It's always the same number of baits. There's only one, one tier. You don't have the option of, um, you know, bucking up to a $50 box or an $80 box or a $100 box or what have you. So you pretty much get just a standard uh, baseline trim. Uh, but the one thing that's always impressed me, they have a variety of baits, a variety of bait companies, and they are very expedient at getting you your, your product. So unlike MTB uh, and all the others that tend to wait until the first of the month to draw your funds to pay for your month's subscription, and then you have to wait sometimes until the third week of the month to receive your package, um, RTB deducts the payment the prior month for the following. So my June payment was, or my, yeah, my June payment was taken, uh, you know, in May. So uh, that's, if you're willing to do that, if you know that it gets pulled the last week in May so that you'll get your box early in June, and in most cases, at least so far for me, it's been the first day of June, uh, I have to say I appreciate that because that gives me the entire month to take these baits out on the water. That being said, we will slice and dice our way into this month's Rush Tackle. Uh, again, like MTV and RTV uh, has their what's in the box card. Um, like MTV, RTV tends to have, although I don't see any, oh, they're here, stickers. We always love stickers. All right, I've got a... Uh, Dawn Patrol sticker, that's a, a repeat sticker. And we've got an Okuma, the Okuma Polar Bear sticker. That's pretty cool. I like those. And we've got a series of baits. So, um, basically you pay, I want to say $25, I think it's $24.99 for the box. Uh, their total value for this shipment today is listed at $52.44. So, double, basically double my, my money. Um, first off, inside your premium bass box is, uh, the Freedoms Tackle Corp Spinner Bait for $10.99. So, no, that's not it. It's, uh, oh, another sticker. All right, I like this sticker. Here's another sticker. Uh, but we have an issue. Houston! Can't say SpaceX. SpaceX, we have a problem. Um, that's no bueno. Okay, it looks like I'm missing a lure. All right, we'll, we'll put that to the side. I'll have to contact them. It gives me a good time to check in on their uh, customer service because I've never actually had an issue, but it looks like, first off, I have an issue. All right, so I was supposed to receive a Freedoms Spinner Bait for $10.99. I do not see that in this box. We'll go next. Next, Lunker Hunt Spider. So we have Lunker Hunt's Phantom Spider. I already have all the different varieties of colors. So this is yet another one. This is that Black Widow pattern, which is always awesome. Um, I'll be honest, I got a friend at work, and I'm going to hook him up with this tomorrow. I'm going to give this away to a buddy who, uh, who goes out and uh, brings his son, and his two sons, along with him occasionally, and uh, goes fishing. So... I think this will be something neat that he can toss out there with the kids. Uh, not that they go in places where they catch big fish, but believe it or not, this is top water season coming around the corner. This will be fun for them. Uh, hopefully they won't fight too much over it, <laughs> and, and we'll have fun with that. So the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider, I'm sure all of you are aware of it. It's a soft plastic top water. Uh, it dances across the surface. Very good bait. You can straight retrieve it or you can pop it, and it takes very minute uh action to get it to to do its job uh, but as always i say if you bought or received one of these uh, $11.99 the 
the way that the legs are formed and connected, there's a small square that has a tiny little peg and that's pushed into the main body of the frog. Take super glue and glue the, the outside edges of that square box so that those legs don't pop off because these are notorious for losing their legs. That's a, a definite hint and tip. Um, all right, I'll try to keep this short and fat, uh, short, short and sweet. Next on is Blitz Worms for $6.49. This is an X Zone, the Blitz Worm. X Zone Blitz Worm. All right. So we got uh, an eight pack of 11 inch ribbon tail worms by X Zone. These are floating worms, and they refer to it as their Blitz Worm. So they're a floating black eight pack. Again, Rush Tackle Box doesn't do sample packs. It's always full packs. So you have a uh, nice curly ribbon tail worm in black, 11 inches long, and it's got a flat side, and then your bottom pour. So this is basically a flat pour uh, mold for their worm. That's pretty awesome. I am very, very much interested, honestly, in uh, starting up producing my own worms at home. Uh, doing flat pours and full pours um, by making silicone molds. And, and I want to actually start getting into that. So that's something that I'm looking forward to um, maybe August, September as the winter starts to cool, uh, as things start to cool down. Um, and then so in October, November, and December throughout the winter, I am actually thinking of trying to uh, emulate and mimic not directly uh duplicating existing bur uh, worms and patterns and soft plastics, but honestly taking baits, s cutting out sections, making molds based on the head of one bait, the tail of a different bait, the tentacles off a third bait, and creating those bodies into one mold, and then taking that mold and creating a solid bait that has the outside characteristics and shapes of the, the you know, Frankenstein of... Uh, Frankenstein's monster, I should say. Not the, I'd be Dr. Frankenstein. But the Frankenstein's monster version of certain dates. For example, I've loved ribbon tail worms from one brand, but I like the Senko. So I would like the Senko body with that profile and those ridges with the ribbon tail from a different brand like a Zoom. So if I could connect the ribbon tail from the Zoom onto the Senko body and create a solid mold and then melt down some plastics or buy some soft plastic salt and pour my own then I have the best of both worlds. So I'm looking forward, I hope, I hope this all works out. If so, I'm looking forward to producing that content for you. Leave a comment down in the sections if you would look forward to seeing me do some of those videos where you, you see me literally segment certain baits, cop, cop, cut them out, create the molds, create the silicone um, you know, masters, and then start producing and then, of course, going out on the water in spring and testing and see how these baits actually act. See the action because it'll have multiple characteristics. It'll have the action from the tail segment of one bait versus the appendages from a, from a third bait, like a beaver bait meets, uh, you know, for example, a beaver bait meets a, uh, a lizard. You know, you never know. So uh, leave a comment. See if that appeals to you. If it does, maybe I'll do it. If, if you all say, no, that's a stupid idea, you're just dumb, I... I'm still going to do it, but I just won't waste my time uh, producing content if it's not something you look forward to, uh, to viewing. All right, so again, the X-Zone uh, Blitz Worms were $6.49. The Phantom Spider, $11.99. Next, something I guarantee I, I don't really think is going to work, <laughs> although I'm going to say this is a little bit better. Maybe this has potential. I do, I do float uh, or fish with tubes. This is Bait Clouds. Uh, bring the fish to you, inserts. So this, honestly, is something I respect. Bait clouds were these bath bombs that you were supposed to throw out in the water and they would fizz like an Alka-Seltzer and supposedly give off the scent and the flavor of dying bait fish or crayfish or whatever based on which bait ball you bought, or bait cloud, excuse me, you bought. The problem with them is if you go and check out, I, I suggest go and check out um, Catfish and Carp, their YouTube channel, he he tested this multiple times. It's a complete joke because they they basically deteriorate so rapidly and it's such a small bath bomb sized, you know, like a golf ball or so sized uh, uh, 
scent release thing that the cloud in that volume of water, even in a small confined area like between dock pilings, it just disperses so rapidly. The money you waste, I think it came like three or four in a tin. You basically, you have to dump the whole tin and hope that it works. It was, to me, it was a, it was a failed proposition. All the all the tackle stores that I saw had them for sale. They immediately, you know, within a week or so, went into the bargain clearance sale. I don't think it did well. However, as an eternal optimist that I am, nine dollars and ninety nine cents still pricey. These are inserts for of bait clouds, which would be the same basic pellet. It's just like a bath bomb, but these individual cert inserts, which there are thirty tablets. For $10, 30 tablets, I would like to see this more along the, the $5 or $6.99 for 30 tablets. Um, but the fact that you can basically insert them into your crawfish uh, profile, into, I'm going to go for tubes, as right there, list two baits. Um, anything that has a an area, they have it, they have it uh, tied onto hooks on your Senko. Uh, obviously, a hair rig uh, style hook would always work. Um, uh, they have it inserted inside a soft plastic, inserted into the pockets of crayfish um, that have those those scent package or rattle trap. If you have a rattle trap uh, pocket in your bait, in your soft plastic bait, I'm sure this would fit instead of the rattle. Um, hopefully this will basically do what I've always done in the past, which is mixing up Alka-Seltzer, colored chalk, and a little bit of a fish scent attractant. I used to grind up colored chalk grind up Alka-Seltzers into a powder, mix it into a paste, and inject it with a meat flavor injector with the needle, the metal needle, and I would pump it into the cavity of my worms. Then I would uh, throw my worms on a Chexus rig, and the Alka-Seltzer would fizz. In fact, I got this a long time ago. This is something that I learned from my, from my you know, grandfather's era. Uh, but I saw, I think it was last year, Scott Martin, who I'm a big fan of, uh, again, Scott and Scott. <laughs> um, he also kind of actually made a video where he, where old time fishermen would take an Alka Seltzer, snap off a tiny little corner of it, and stuff the Alka Seltzer into their bait. The idea is the bubbles that it released, the sound, the snap, crackle, and pop, rice crispy, the bubble trail that you get uh, would attract fish in, and it it seems to work in pressured areas. It, for whatever reason, it tricks the fish into being more inquisitive. And if you can rile up the, the, the herd of fish to be on that aggressive stance and you throw something like that, that works. If this works the same way as the bait bombs that, that uh, bait cloud originally came, it will fizz slightly, but it will slowly put out a cloud of fish attractant flavor and scent. So that, as gimmicky as it is, and I hope you know my feelings on gimmicks, I'm not a big fan of gimmicks, but knowing my prior experience, this might potentially be worthwhile. It's not worth the price, not by a long shot. Again, $5.99, $6, $6.99, I can do. $10 a package, no. If it was a 100 pack, okay. At, um, at 30, it's still, for what it is, and for the price of making pellets or their fizz, I know that they they're probably did this to recoup the losses on the larger bombs, but whatever. Uh, the, the bait bomb's uh, $9.99 for these inserts. But hopefully it'll work. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a test. If it works like my Alka-Seltzer trip from the past, or trick from the past, I might actually go to the store and buy these at some point. Because these do, again, add the fish attractant flavor. But I'll have to wait and see. Next up, another X-Zone. my second X-Zone. Uh, this is the 6-inch stick. This is their Senkos. 6-inch stick in bubble gum. Bubble gum, a little late to the party. Now, bubble gum's a great color. I use it for sight fishing when I'm doing the, the, the spawn, pre-spawn uh, bass fishing. For my, you know, you can see it in water. You can quickly grab them. You can take your picture, put them right back. They can go guard their fry, go their, guard their, their spawning eggs. Um, but uh, bubble gum, for me, you're like a month and a half off. It would have been nice. But they're, these all have a little area targeted on X-Zone, which is nice, uh, in the Senko, in their stick bait, might as well open it, these are good because they literally make an area which is balanced on, on the bait, 
that delineates the perfect area to put your wacky rig ring and your hook. So you don't put your wacky rig right in this larger area of the worm. It actually has a slightly, you know, flattened out area. Right there is the, is the balance point of the soft plastic to give you the most flutter to balance the weight from the head, the slightly tapered off weight in the back, that you get the right action when you're jerking your bait and letting it fall, floating it up and letting it fall on that wacky rig presentation. So I do like that about X-Zones. Not a lot of uh, baits do that. They'll, they'll leave the large segment because it's mimicking a natural, nat natural worm, but they'll just keep these ridges equal all the way down. X-Zone gives you that little differentiation right there which tells you, hey, that's your perfect spot for your wacky rig. So I do like that. That's a $6.49. Last something that I do have a different color of. So this is nice. Um, the last thing in the box, and again, I didn't get my spinner bait, so I'll be contacting Rush. Maybe they'll send me out a replacement. Um, Lunker Hunt's Leech, $6.49 as well. And the Lunker Hunt Leech is in black. This is their 501 Leech, it's a five inch. And I do have these in a red color. And now I've got them in a black color. And it literally is just a thin, flat, soft plastic that looks like a leech. That's all it is. Nothing much to it. Very oily, scented with their little bait fish smell that Lunker Hunt's known for. Um... They basically do a wacky rig on this, or drop shot, I should say, and, um, you know, it, it's, it's a pretty good bait for that because you're rigging it in the middle of your weight and it'll get that flutter, especially if you have any kind of current because it's so thin, but it still has those small ridges along to, to displace water. If you fish this in, uh, you know, little creeks, little uh, rivers with a little bit of current, um, leeches do, you know, these artificial leeches do very well. Uh, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to those. I'll probably share a few of these uh, with my friend as well. So uh, I'm sorry it took a little longer with the talking about the, uh, you know, the, the uh, X-Zones and the bait cloud. But uh, I hope this was informative. Again, the spinner bait that I did not get, um, I will hopefully do a backup video to this. Uh, it was $10.99. Uh, the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider, $11.99. The Blitz Worms, the Large Worms. Uh, uh, sp uh, can't think. <laughs> the ribbon tails, six forty nine. The bait clouds pellets are nine ninety nine. The stick, the stick, the actual Senko style and bubble gum are six forty nine, and the little flat leeches are six forty nine. So three baits at six forty nine. One at eleven ninety nine. One at ten ninety nine. One at nine ninety nine. Say that five times fast. Total value again fifty two dollars forty four cents. I will say that's the first time I've gotten a rush tackle box out of dozens. Uh, one day I'll show you the wall of boxes over there. Um, so I'll be interested and I will definitely do a follow-up as a follow-up video as to how their customer service goes. Um, but this is the first time I've ever had a major problem or minor problem and that is a missing bait. Um, it happens. Boxes are put together really rapidly on an assembly line. Occasionally, I guess somebody missed throwing something in. So as my piece to you, be safe out there. These are troubling times. Um, you know, do your social distancing. Care for one another. And as always, from me to you, all you hookaholic family, peace, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. See you next time.